I'm uh, Michelle Thomas and I'm head teacher at Pembroke Dock Community School. When the new curriculum came in, we um, took some time to look at the materials. Uh, we did a few um, analysis of the um, pedagogical principles, um, the four purposes, and looked at elements that we thought perhaps were already strengths in the school and looked at areas that we weren't doing at all. So we allowed the staff to perhaps have a go at some of the materials and uh, staff went off on their own to perhaps introduce something that was new and try out something that was new um, within their classroom. Then at, at some point we looked at involving all, our, all of our stakeholders to develop our vision at Pembroke Dock Community School. So we invited in um, the governors and uh, parents and we asked staff and we asked the pupils. So I had a room full of parents then and we looked at materials with regards to um, the local area through street check. And then we asked the question as to what um, skills, knowledge, attributes and dispositions would you like to, your children to have when they leave education? And that helped us to form our vision really of the way forward that we wanted to take our curriculum. We have actually created a, a vision on a page um, which have got all of these different elements of um, what we would like the children to gain from their learning at Pembroke Dock Community School. Then we um, engaged in some action research with regards to what does authentic learning look like and we recognised that this was an area of development for us. We also used other pieces of evidence, things like our strategic equality plan and one of the targets was to reduce um, the amount of uh, racist incidents and hate crime outside in our community. I think just having that connection with what it is that our families and our stakeholders want is not something that you can get from an off-the-shelf model and, and I think time is a real precious resource in schools and, uh, and, and I, I'd say it's probably the, the most important thing that, that you need to allow in order to have quality discussion, professional dialogue. Um, I'd say as well to be prepared to, to make mistakes as well and to allow that space for teachers to try things and to, I guess take risks. We've embarked on a number of collaborative projects within our cluster, one of them being the development of, development of empathy with the support of Empathy Lab. And we have had um, joint professional learning. In fact, we had whole cluster uh, training. I think in order for there to be successful cluster working is that we looked at the needs of the secondary school uh, we found that working as a whole team um, was most beneficial because you could see what um, early years and reception staff were doing to ensure that that was built on and there was progression then going through up to years one and two and, um, and further up through the school. So we held a competition within the school to create uh, characters for each of the four purposes. By now, the children had got really good knowledge of the four purposes and all of the different strands that went um, in each one. And so could visualize what they thought that character would be. And then finally, we decided that each character needed a number of dispositions and so all um, children and staff put forward suggestions on what they thought each character's dispositions would be. And we chose the top eight that came from them. And more recently, the children have self-assessed themselves against these dispositions of each of the four purposes. And we uh, plan to track then their development through the school with regards to their view as to how they've developed these dispositions to each of the four purpose characters. So we have developed uh, two whole school themes. The first one we embarked on was the Don't Hate Educate topic 
Uh, the second one is our current one that we've been working on, which was um, Kenevin or Stay Local. And that came from um, our stakeholders, uh, where they, many of them said they wanted them to have pride um, of where they uh, lived and to be good community citizens. So our work evolved from, from the stakeholders' views. We'd identified that we were recycling a lot of ideas and topics over a two-year period and uh, we wanted that to, to change. We wanted stuff that we were that we were teaching to have to have to be relevant to our to our pupils. Um, and we wanted it to be authentic. So we, we wanted uh, to look at authentic learning experiences and um, as part of the inquiry project, uh, we wanted our staff to understand what an authentic learning experience was. Um, so to do that, we wanted to, to baseline really our, our staff, the teaching staff and the, and the LSAs, what their understanding of authentic learning was. From that, from that baseline evidence that we, that we gathered then, we were able to put some professional learning in place and that's where we then came across um, the decision really to, to work together as a whole school um, and not work in pockets of isolation of just year groups planning together but, but plan together and, and we wanted to work on the subject of, of don't take to educate something that was that was really relevant um, in I guess the national news but also the, the local news as well and something that was relevant to all our pupils. Certainly from our point of view we're developing a, a culture really where inquiry is important and is, is valued so that we're not just necessarily introducing uh, new initiatives on, on a whim, we are looking at the impact of those initiatives and we've worked with, with partner schools so we've been able to share our experiences to support other schools then to develop their own, I guess, cultures of inquiry within, within their own schools as well then.